Thank you, Pastor, for watching this series on seven labs that are designed to help your congregation get more traction with your immediate community. The reason I'm doing these seven labs and introducing you to the seven action steps that I'm making available to you is because, like you, I'm very committed to the effectiveness of the local church in the local area. And today, a lot of churches are faced with a number of different drivers. Number one, there seems to be a decline in the interest of the community in attending and getting involved with in a meaningful way with the local church. And when there's involvement, it seems like the involvement from the men and the family seems lower than the other members of the family. That's number one. Number two, we're finding that there are so many options available to the community uh, from the mega churches that spend a lot of resources and have a lot of expertise in marketing themselves to the different online venues where people find themselves satisfying or checking off their church attendance box by doing something privately in their home and not really attending uh, a congregation of some sort. And number three, there is an increasing demand on the family today to work and so families find themselves spending more time working and less time tending to the spiritual welfare and well-being of their children, of their spouses and of each other. So in this ecosystem that we find ourselves in, I'd like to talk with you very briefly about the seven labs. The first lab is called the Innovation Lab. So the Innovation Lab So the Innovation Lab is a complete path with materials, a roadmap on how you, the local pastor and the local church, can have your local community use your church, your material as a way for them to innovate. So we live in a culture today, particularly with the young people and also with men and women, but also particularly with men, where they have an interest in bringing forward a new idea. But the roadmap on how to do that is absent. So I find myself drawing myself to the very beginning of the idea for humanity when God said, let us make something like us. Let us make man in our own image. Let us make something like us. And we know God to be a creator. He is someone that innovates. He comes up with things. And even after he created humanity, he says, go, be fruitful. In other words, expand on what I've given you. Multiply, take what I've given you and cause it to increase in number, not just with procreation, but with every dimension of the human experience, including innovation, ideas, and so on. And so with that context that we as Christians have a unique relationship with the, our Creator in that He created us in His image, the church being the platform where the local com community can find a pathway to being innovative. What that means specifically is with this lab in your church, you become the resource to your local community for those who have an idea on how to take their idea from concept to execution, how they deal with how to get interest in their idea, how to articulate their idea in an effective way, how to get people involved with their idea. Your congregation in your local community being the place where people come to get their concept and ideas birthed, whether it be a business, whether it be a not-for-profit, whether it be something that they want to do improve the quality of their life or the quality of life of others, your church with this lab becomes an innovation center in your community and it draws with that a very unique part of your demographic. People that are gainfully employed, people that have ideas, people that want to make a difference in the community, the exact type of person that you want in your congregation to help be a resource and a mentor and someone who will be in action with the things you teach and preach. In addition to the innovation lab, the speaker lab. So with the speaker lab, you individually, you as a pastor who are currently preaching and talking on Sunday, we take you and we put you on a roadmap where you get trained 
you get prepared, you have materials so that you now become a speaker in your community. The outcome of this is you take the words of encouragement and inspiration and the positive message that you are and you now get start getting booked in your local by your local businesses your local chambers you start getting booked in schools to bring and represent a positive uplifting message in your community and in certain venues you get paid to speak so you already speak at church now with speaker lab with the speaker lab here you now are put on a trajectory where you become a speaker in your local community starting locally and then if you're interested in broadening your scope to the regional the state the national the international path for speaking and bringing value to people you speak to how to get booked how to prepare your content how to make people aware that you have this that you are this resource that is what speaker lab addresses that's the second one the third one is a relationship and marriage. These labs are all designed to speak to the needs that your community is dying for a solution to. So you might consider that when people don't attend your congregation, you might consider that they perceive a lack of value in what they get from your services from your congregation. We might consider that. I'm not saying that's the case, but if you were to consider that, then we might then say, okay, what is the need that my community has? And let me share with you, it's not for a different type of music. It's not for a one hour sermon. It's not for coffee in the, in the, in the foyer, although those things are effective in creating a social buzz and making sure it's a social experience, that, is, that those things by themselves are not effective in meeting the acute needs of your community. And Jesus was effective because he was able to do just that. So we now look and see what are the acute needs in your community, the things that people are struggling with and do not have any viable solution despite searching on the web, despite going to this seminar or that seminar, or watching this or reading this book or that book. Relationship and Marriage Lab gives you the pathway for you to become the effective resource and ecosystem for the people in your community to revitalize their close, critical, important, meaningful relationships, marriage relationships, relationships with their children, relationships with their parents. This lab puts all that information in a way that you can present individually under your own branding under your own name or you can just make our material available to your congregation or you can use our material to train people within your congregation to deliver this content in a way that makes an impact that's sustainable within the members of your congregation the next lab is parenting So now more than ever with children being on social media, on their phones, with an in, a different type of struggle at church with bullying, um, pornography and other inappropriate content so pervasively and readily available within our community, how is the church stepping up and not just matching the solutions that are available in the secular world, but actually providing inspired, highly effective pathways and solutions for parents to completely transform the way they're relating to their children, both young children and older children. It's a specific skill set that's required in order for parents to be effective. And this lab makes your congregation, your church, the place where that information is distributed, where that information is consumed, and your church and congregation becomes the ecosystem where your members are able to then implement and have an environment where they can put into practice the material that you provide for them through these different labs. Next one. Drug-free families or mitigation of the effect of drugs. Consider that most of the people in your congregation 
are either directly affected, either they're using drugs or they're directly affected by someone who is. And also consider that despite all of the programs out there, we know that there is no viable solution in the marketplace today for this problem. In fact, in our neighborhood, in our area, in Manatee County, Manatee County is the number one county in the United States for deaths from drug overdose. The problem is so acute, the problem is expanding at such a velocity that we as a culture do not have a single mechanism to address it. So when we consider that we are the body of Christ, we have the mind of Christ, we have the creativity of Christ, this lab here will put your church on a pathway to effectively equip the members of your congregation on how to prevent the use of drugs within the family and when, which is going to be the more prevalent case, when it has already happened, how to mitigate it, how to resolve it, and how to take the people affected by it on a pathway to an abundant life. This lab is highly effective in addressing and achieving the outcomes I just described. Culture Lab. So now more than ever, you find yourselves, we find ourselves in a very mixed culture. We have people from different ethnic groups. We have different uh, people from different political uh, persuasions, gender persuasions um, from different parts of the world. Um, and if we're not dealing with them eyeball to eyeball, we're dealing with them through our phones, through our highly connected society. How does the church be the light in having cultures work together effectively and how do you as a pastor become hyper effective in attracting those cultures creating an ecosystem where they feel welcomed and where they come into your congregation and they benefit from the teaching mentorship discipleship that you're providing and in this way expand your congregation both in terms of numbers effectiveness impact in your community and relevance. The Culture Lab walks you through what is involved in, in, with people as they move from one culture to the other. What are the things that they are dealing with? Why do they behave the way they behave? Why do people become isolated? Why do they become attached to their different views? And how you, with this understanding and clarity, how you can be very effective in having an ecosystem where these individuals feel welcomed and they become part of your thriving congregation. Jesus was highly effective. He was able to deal with people from different cultures, like the Samaritans, like the Romans. He was able to deal with people from different economic spectrums, from people that were very wealthy, collecting money on behalf of the government, like tax collectors, Pharisees, people that are wealthy, all the way to people that were poor and everyone in between, working class, business people, men, women, children. He was a master in having people from different backgrounds feel welcomed and feel part of the conversation that he was promoting. This lab is designed to have you have that level of effectiveness in your culture, in your, in your, in your, in your, um, in your community. The marketing lab is designed to help you become effective in letting your community know what you have available in your church. So we live in a very different environment than the ones we grew up in. So we live where messages are born, become popular or die literally within seconds, whether it's on our mobile device, on the internet, advertisements, magazines. We have become a culture that's accustomed to very effective targeted messaging. 
And if we are not effective as a church in being succinct and very effectively speaking to the needs of our audience, then we will not be able to let our community know about what we have available within our church. So the marketing lab empowers, trains, equips, and provides you with the pathway to make yourself effective in your particular community, given your unique personality, given the unique culture of your church, given the unique culture of your environment, and it helps you optimize all those conditions so that people know that you're there. They know what you stand for, and they're clear on what they can get from coming to you. So at the end of the day, we are rivers of living water. So this marketing lab assists you in letting people know that you have living water that addresses their need. And part of that is describing what you have in a way that they can hear and understand, becoming effective and understanding the listening of your community. So these are seven labs that you have available to you. They can be distributed under your own branding. So we are providing information to you. You provide it to your marketplace, your name, your branding. You can repurpose our material and make it available to your congregation. Or you can take our material and equip your team to make these labs available for your community. I look forward to talking with you in person about these soon.